everyone, how you doing today? I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we have an Lenovo IdeaPad C340 15 IWL, also known as a model name, which is 81N5. This one they do come in an iCore 3 or iCore 5 model, these are 8 gen. And in this video, I'm gonna take you over how to open it up, how to repaste your laptop. If it's running really warm or you just wanna do your own maintenance, this video is for you. All right, I'm gonna go over the tools that you're gonna be needing. Tool number one is a workshop towel, which you will need about one sheet of the workshop towel. You will need uh, alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic 90% plus alcohol. You will need a good thermal paste. I would recommend you guys grab an Arctic MX4 or the new one, which is an Arctic MX5. After that, or if you want to go a little crazy over the board, you can go with the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, which is one of the best brands. But I would suggest you Arctic MX4 or MX5, which is really good too. And after that, you will need a, a screwdriver set. I would recommend you guys grab the iFixit screwdriver set. And from here, we're going to be using a Torque number 5 and a Phillips number 1 from here. These bits are made out of S2 class steel, that means they're really tough and steel. Also, you will need a curved tweezer and an opening tool. For the opening tool, you will need a, a guitar pick, a metallic one, which is very suitable to opening covers and electronics. With all this on hand, we're going to get it started. You're going to power off the laptop. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a few screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys find my content helpful and helping you guys out, you can click that like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, or answer your questions in the comment area. I really appreciate you support all right once we remove all the screws in here just double check make sure you haven't missed any the one in the middle all you need to do is to open up the laptop a little bit and you want to stick the uh, opening to in this case a guitar pick between the palm rest and the bottom cover just like that about two or three millimeters inward now you want to just twist it around just like that you want to hear a few clicks, that's normal, that's what you want to hear. Those are the clips that are getting loose. Do the side, go towards the back corner, all the way back corner, and do the left and right side, both sides. Once you do that, you're going to feel that the whole cover is coming out. You want to close the laptop, grab it from the front end, let me put it in here. Grab it from front end, bring it up, and work it around a little bit, and it will release itself on the back end. You can grab a toothbrush, let me see if I have mine over here somewhere. You can grab a new old toothbrush and clean up the mesh, take it outside and blow some dry air, compressed air, and clean it nicely. After that, right here, we're gonna see the whole inside of the laptop. First, we're gonna remove the battery because there's a whole pile of dust right underneath. We're gonna switch to a Phillips number one, and we're gonna remove three screws on the battery. One, two, three. These are really short screws. Once you remove this screw, just grab it from here, bring it up, and pull this cable back, and it will release the battery. You can flip it over and clean up the battery in here and the dust underneath. All right, now that we have removed the battery and everything like that, we're gonna remove this flex cable for the LCD. It has a little uh, handle right here. You wanna pull this handle straight up, but sometimes it comes really hard, you can't pull it up hard enough. So what you're gonna do, we're gonna use a spatula. Let me find myself one. A plastic spatula, make sure it's not metal. You wanna put it underneath and just do a little help so it releases itself and brings it up. So it's still kinda of hard, this one is not sharp enough. So I can't find one right now. So I'm gonna try with a guitar pick, plastic one, so I'll leave it underneath and it will come out pretty easy. So untangle this, bring it up to one side, remove the tape, 
bring it up to that corner. We're gonna use a curved tweezer to remove the fan because we don't want to. These are delicate cable, delicate cables. You want to put it right down beside the jack right there, and you want to slide it towards the fan. Work it around a little bit, and it will come out very easy. Now we're gonna remove one, two screws on the fan. There we have. Now we're gonna remove three screws on the heat sink. All right, now we're going to grab the heatsink and bring it up and move the fan right there. As you can see, there's a little dust particle right there. We're going to clean it. This one is pretty clean. It's not that dirty. You can take it outside with a toothbrush, clean it up, clean the inside, and blow some air through here. And grab the heatsink. Remove all this dust that is piled up in there with a toothbrush. And there we have it. It's nice and clean. Now we're going to clean up the thermal paste. I'm going to grab a little bit of sheet of the towel right there. And we're going to soak it in the alcohol. And now gently we're going to grab and clean up the CPU die right over. Do a nice job cleaning. Just rub over. And with a clean dry part of the towel, just rub it right on the die. Make sure there's no anything on top. It's really nice and shiny. And same thing with the heat sink. Just grab it and clean it up. Once it's really clean, and you cleaned up the inside and outside everything, clean up the bottom face right there. There we have it. We're going to grab a thermal paste, we're going to put a tiny line on a big die and one drop on a secondary die right there. Now you want to grab the heat sink, bring it over, align it, align the screw holes, bring it down and do not lift it up again. Put the three screws on the heat sink. Doesn't matter which order you start because there's only three of them. So as long as you don't lift up the heatsink, you're fine. Next, grab the fan, bring it over, align it. You can remove the fan without removing the heatsink. If you just want to clean it after a few weeks, remove two screws, clean it up, and put it back on top. The thermal paste should be replaced every two years, but you can do your own cleaning every six, seven months, depending how dirty your room is. Put the two screws for the fan, grab the jack straight toward the inside the jack, place it straight in there all the way in, right there. Bring the flex cable for the LCD, run the cable through the gaps right there, and bring it over. On top of the connector, you want to align it and you just want to push it towards the motherboard. So it makes a nice connection right there. Okay. Once we have that one in there, all we need to do is to grab the battery, put this corner in. But before we do that, let's put it in an offset position so we can plug in the battery connector straight in. Uh, pinch it right through there. Now bring it, put this side down. Put the three screws for the battery and we should be set to go. Remember once you remove the battery, you, when you power on, it might take up to say 5 to 10 seconds for the motherboard to power on. So wait 5 to 10 seconds and then you should get a boot logo. Once we finish with that, grab the bottom cover, bring it over, align it and push it down straight on top of the so, it down right there and push it down and squeeze it down and if you see any gap opening let's say for example in the back corner right here you see this gap right there open so you just want to pinch them and it will go into place pinch it and it will go right in place and the last thing would be to just grab switch back to torque number five and place the bottom screws 
Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click the like and think about subscribing to support the channel. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next videos.